हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर फाइन दिस इज भाविका योर केमिस्ट्री मेंटर वेलकमिंग यू टू द अमेजिंग प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ पी डब्ल्यू इंग्लिश सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न दैट हाउ टू राइट अ केमिकल फॉर्मूला ओके इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी दैट एवरी टाइम फॉर्मूला विल बी गिवन टू अस you must have seen that many a times they just mention the name of that chemical and we have to write its formula okay at that time we cannot say that oh i cannot write formula so this is one of the most important thing of chemistry that you must know to write its formula okay every time formula is not given to you so many names is given to you so there is a method okay there is a method where you can write its you can derive you can derive its chemical formula from its name okay we must know that which elements is present in that name and we must know its valency okay i told you valency is very important so valency to know valency what is the important thing we know we should know its electronic configuration and in order to know its electronic configuration we must know its atomic number okay so uh, just try okay for this for 9 10th it is mandatory that you must know the atomic number from 1 to 20 okay once you know atomic number you can write its electronic configuration right once you know its electronic configuration you can write its valency and once you know its valency you can derive its chemical formula right so everything is connected to each other so the key is to learn atomic number so let us get started let us know the rules that how how we are going to write its chemical formula okay first thing first so a chemical formula first of all what is chemical formula it is a formula just like maths yes it is similar to maths okay it is a chemical formula is used to represent the types of atom and their numbers in a single molecule what it denotes that how many number of atoms are there in that particular molecule right uh or a compound by showing the elements present in a compound along with their relative proportion okay uh if you know the number of elements it is not enough why because you must know its proportion to right like uh if i talk about uh, water right water is h2o so the proportion of hydrogen to oxygen is 2 is to 1 how did i know if i tell you water then can you say which elements is present in it uh, what proportion they are present in no but when i say h2o you just get it okay there are two elements present that one is hydrogen and one is oxygen and they are present in 2 is to 1 ratio yes so that's how a chemical formula is very informative right it gives us a lot of information the element of their atoms present in the compound are denoted by one or two more different alphabets that symbolize the element okay see along with atomic number you must also know their symbols right you must also know their symbols for example you must know that aluminum is denoted by al copper is denoted by cu okay carbon is denoted by just c so this is the basic terminology you must do because if you cannot write it in a symbolic manner then you cannot write its chemical formula so there are specific rules for writing the chemical formula okay we will learn about those rules so this slide was all about what is chemical formula right now we are going to learn that how to write chemical formula what are the rules for that okay so first and foremost is uh yes one must know the valences yes i told you about valencies then was one must know the valencies of two elements or radicals present valencies is must beta 
ओके यू मस्ट नो दी बैलेंसी इन अ केमिकल फॉर्मूला द सम ऑफ द टोटल नंबर ऑफ पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव बैलेंसी ओके द सम ऑफ पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव बैलेंसी शुड बी जीरो लाइक इट इज डिनोटिंग दैट एन एटम शुड बी कंपाउंड और मोलिक्यूल शुड बी न्यूट्रल इफ देर इज नो चार्ज प्रेजेंट इन ऑन इट ओके provided that if there is no charge present over it then you must uh, like balance it in a such a way that the negative valence is cancelling out the positive valence okay so the overall charge becomes zero this can be done by finding the lowest common multiple of the two valences okay we will see that don't worry if present you must always place the metal at the beginning of the formula okay Uh, like it's a tradition okay there's no uh, scientific reason for it but it's it's a tradition that we always write metal first and then non metal okay so if i have to uh, write uh, for aluminum chloride then i will write alcl3 okay i will not let cl3 then al okay so that's a tradition that is being followed and we will carry out to follow it right chalo uh we will get more clarity with examples but before going to examples if you don't know some few valences then we'll just look after it once okay sodium okay if you talk about sodium it is na plus okay only plus is there so it is plus 1 right potassium is k plus 1 right silver also plus 1 copper is plus 1 then two number the valency two have magnesium calcium zinc iron copper they all have valency two yes plus two means they are ready to donate to electrons yes what cation suggested that one has donated the electrons and become cation and what minus suggests an ion suggests that that atom has gained electrons right that was the basic thing Valency three has a uh, contain aluminium and iron. Okay, plus of course. Now for the non-metallic element. Okay, uh, if I talk about hydrogen, it is H plus. If I say hydride, okay, if I say hydride, then it is H minus. Chloride is Cl minus. Bromide is Br minus. You know that all halogens. Okay, all halogens are in a need of one electron. they just need one electron to complete its octet so their valency is always minus 1 okay they want one electron oxide is 2 minus sulfide is 2 minus and nitride nitride okay that is 3 minus okay if you talk about polyatomic ions okay this is the very important thing many a times it is being asked okay if you talk about polyatomic ions ammonium okay we will take uh, we will treat polyatomic ion as a single ion okay for example if you are talking about nh4 okay so now here here we are concerned about nh4 as a whole we will not talk about individually about nitrogen or hydrogen <coughs> okay is it clear okay if i am talking about polyatomic ions okay okay so if i am talking about polyatomic ions then i am talking about ions as a whole okay right nitrogen four hydrogen then we take it as a single en uh, entity and the charge of ammonium ion is plus 1 okay like that for hydroxide oh minus 1 this here i will not talk about a uh, oxygen separately hydrogen separately no the entire oh is minus 1 okay you have to remember this okay you you may know this if you write its electronic configuration you will know its valency but especially for polyatomic ions okay especially for polyatomic ions you will have to remember it 
okay because it is very a uh, time taking and difficult to just derive its valency you can derive it there is a process for it but at this stage we will just memorize it okay uh nitrate is no3 minus hydrogen carbonate is h hco3 minus carbonate is co3 two minus sulfite is so3 two minus right sulfate is so4 two minus and phosphate is po4 three minus okay so now let us get started do some real examples okay if i talk about hydrogen chloride okay what we are dealing with hydrogen chloride so what we came to know from hydrogen chloride that there are two elements one is hydrogen and one is chlorine okay we will write like this okay we will write like hydrogen and chloride over here we will write their valencies one is the valency of hydrogen and again one is the valency of fluorine plus minus here it, it does not matter okay because they are uh, cancelling each other plus one is cancelling minus one so what their symbol becomes so what their what is the fo uh, final formula the final formula becomes h1 cl1 what you have to do you just have to cross multiply okay this is the key point over here you will have to cross multiply this becomes h1 cl1 or you can simply write hcl okay nothing means one okay nothing means one if nothing is written by default what we understood that it is one so this become hcl okay next is hydrogen sulfide so again we know there are two elements one is hydrogen and sulfide is sulfur and the symbol of sulfur is s again the valency of hydrogen is 1 for sulfur it is 2 i have just uh, we have just seen that for sulfide it was 2 it needs two electrons right it needs two electrons to complete its octet what do you do you just cross multiply it and what do you get what is the formula you have to cross multiply 2 becomes 2 goes to h and 1 goes to s so the formula becomes h2s yes or no isn't it the formula becomes h2s okay clear till here very easy next is aluminum oxide okay again two one is aluminum and one is oxygen what is the charge for it or you can also say charge you can also say its valency for aluminum it is 3 plus right it it gives away three electrons yes for oxide it it takes away two elect it takes two electrons right two minus so what will be its formula just criss cross it cross multiply it this two goes with aluminum and this three goes with oxygen so your formula becomes al2o3 getting my point or not okay very easy okay if you you must know its valency okay if you know the valency you can write the chemical formula of any complex name given to you okay let us get started again calcium oxide what do you understand by calcium oxide again there will be two one is calcium and another is oxygen again you will write here calcium and oxygen okay what is the valency of calcium it is 2 plus yes it gives away two electron and oxygen it takes two electron okay so what should be the formula what should be the formula ca2o2 right but what was the rule number 3 remember that we have to write it in its simplest form simplest form means this 2 to get cancel and you can write it as cao okay 22 is you can cancel out 22 you just have to write in simplest form possible you cannot write ca2o2 okay that what our third rule was telling us okay we have gone through the rules and the rule number third rule number 3 told us that our chemical formula should be in the simplest form possible 
so this becomes your cao that is calcium oxide next is sodium nitrite okay see very carefully now this is in polyatomic ion sodium is na fine what is nitrite nitrite is no3 you take no3 as a whole right please very look very carefully now we are dealing with okay this is polyatomic ion okay now we are dealing with polyatomic ion so we we will write here na we will write here no3 then we write the charge na it is plus 1 for no3 it is minus 1 so what will be its formula what will be its formula this becomes na no3 needless to write one okay needless to write one there is no need to write one if there is nothing then by default one is there clear till here yes so this how you write for polyatomic ions next is calcium hydroxide okay calcium is ca hydroxide is oh ca is valency was plus 2 oh is minus 1 you again criss cross it what is the formula then this one goes with calcium right and this two goes with oh so what is the formula ca oh twice c very important what i have did here i have made brackets so for polyatomic ions for polyatomic ions if there are more than one polyatomic ion then it is compulsory it is compulsory to make brackets okay if let me write over here if if polyatomic ions are more than one okay brackets is necessary when if polyatomic ions are more than one then it is compulsory to make brackets and your formula will become caoh twice okay next is sodium carbonate okay sodium is na carbonate is co3 right it was co3 what will be the charge of na plus 1 for carbonate what we studied 2 minus yes 2 minus so what will be its formula what will be the formula this 2 goes with sodium so this become na2co3 okay no brackets over here because there is just only one polyatomic ion we have to show okay this one goes with here if there was two carbonate then we will make bracket okay clear till here yes yes next is ammonium sulfate right ammonium sulfate you will have to write ammonia ion over here this is sulfate ammonium see both are both are polyatomic ion please look carefully for ammonium it is plus 1 for sulfate it is 2 minus so what will be their formula what goes with ammonium ion 2 yes so nh4 twice yes so4 so this becomes your answer see i have made bracket because there was two ammonium ion more than one that's why i have made bracket so this is your ammonium sulfate right i hope now uh, we have Uh, that so many examples i hope now you can do also okay practice as much as possible so the concept will become very easier for you it's very easy you just need make uh, you just need to make so many practices you have to write so many formulas okay and your concept will become more crystal clear i hope you understood it keep smiling and see you in the next lecture thank you bye bye